Let us learn about nutrition today. So what is the importance of food? No one can live without food. Food gives you nourishment to grow. It repairs the wear and tear of the body tissues, enables you to resist disease and provide you with energy to work. It regulates all your functions. It, is, it not only builds up your body, but also affects the makeup of your mind. So food is the most important daily need. What you need as food? Uh, uh, your body is made of many minerals. Those must be supplied by the food you eat. There is no perfect food that, you, that alone can supply you all these. So you should always eat food. Proteins. Uh, proteins are necessary for building and repairing the body and they also help in healing wounds. And they are needed for the production of enzymes or hormones uh, needed for utilization of certain vitamins in your body. Proteins. A deficiency leads to um, mental and physical fatigue, muscular weakness, retarded growth, and delayed healing of wounds. So, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are uh, a good suppliant of uh, growth and activity. Uh, they uh, uh, are needed for the proper utilization of other nutrients and make food agreeable and tasty. Carbohydrates deficiency, deficiency leads to underweight as no fat is going to come in your body. Uh, it will lead to underweight, fatigue, restlessness, uh, burning protein for energy. Carbohydrates. This one, fats. Uh, fats are needed for growth and re replacement of certain tissues. They, it supplies energy. So fats deficiency leads to underweight, fatigue, restlessness and other things. Calcium. Calcium is uh, gives strength and uh, gives firmness to the bones. It is good for healthy teeth, necessary for good digestion. Uh, and calcium deficiency leads to bone deformities in children, poor digestion, poor muscular growth. Stunted growth means little height growing at some point of time. Ascension for blood and iron is essential for blood and body cells, gives red color to the blood. Uh, so, uh, iron's deficiency leads to lack of blood, retarded growth of children, poor appetite, increased susceptibility to diseases. Iron. Iron is uh, iodine. Essent uh, it is essential for proper functioning of thyroid gland. Uh, iodine's deficiency leads to sp uh, swelling in thyroid gland, often resulting in swelling neck, dwarfism, cretinism, or deformity of children to their being idiots. V vitamin A, essential for proper functioning of the eyes, essential for growth and resistance to disease, essential for healthy skin, mucus, membrane, alimentary, and urinary tracts. Vitamin A deficiency leads to rough and dry skin, susceptibility to diseases, night blindness, glare blindness, and retarded growth. With high mind, uh, helps maintain good appetite, necessary for proper functioning of internal organs, necessary for utilization of carbohydrates. So thiamine deficiency leads to poor appetite, constipation, faulty assimilation of food, very, very in severe cases. So this is the photo of vitamin D1. So riboflavin maintains healthy eyes, skin, nerves, tissue, mucus, and mucous membrane. Necessary for utilization of carbohydrates and protein in the body. And riboflavin's uh, deficiency leads to pale lips, problems in eye, headache, red and uh, rough tongue. So it is also called as vitamin B2. Vitamin C, essential for growth and resistance to disease, essential for formation of bones and teeth and for maintaining them in health. And plus, vitamin C deficiency leads to easy 
hemorrhage, uh, weak bones, lack of blood leading to anemia, slow healing of wounds. So this is a photo of vitamin C. Asen uh, vitamin D, essential for building bones and teeth. And sunlight is a good source of vitamin D. Essential for utilization of calcium and phosphorus. So vitamin D is deficiency leads to rickets, poor health, pigeon teeth, and bow legs. So water. Water is the most essential need of your body. It forms about 60 to 65 percent of the body weight, and it also heals your wounds. Cereals. Cereals form the principal item of food. They include rice, wheat, maize, bajra, jowar, ragi, etc. They are rich in carbohydrates. Pulses, nuts, and oil seeds. Pulses include both whole grains and split grains. Soya bean and are some of the other common used pulses. These are rich in proteins and vitamin B complex. Oil seeds and nuts are rich in fats and proteins. Fresh vegetables. They include both leafy and non-leafy vegetables. There are some excellent sources of vitamins and minerals. These include uh, carrot, radish, uh, roots and tubers. Uh, roots grow under roots and tubers grow under the soil. These include carrot, radish, yams, beets, etc. That are rich in carbohydrates. Some of them are rich in vitamin C also. Fruits. Fruits are a good source of vitamin C um, and lemon is also a good source of vitamin C. Fats and sugars, these include sugar, gur and honey. All of them are concentrated and uh, sources of energy. So we should consume them in less quantity. Milk and milk products. Milk is the most complete natural food. It contains proteins, vitamins and mineral content. Now, how much to eat? This is a table of uh, how much should you eat uh, food groups like vegetable oils is 250 calories per ounce, ghee is 232, butter is 209, sugar, sugar is 100, uh, 110, cereals is 98, pulses is 96, dry foods is 82, eggs is 49, fresh vegetables and fruit is 10, root and tubers is 20. So, thank you and bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm.